All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? It's a unanimous vote from the Maricopa County Stadium District Directors to sign a letter of intent to sell Chase Field, home of the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is the beginning. This potential buyer needs to go work with the team. For 18 years, this ballpark has been a downtown Phoenix staple. Families have enjoyed Diamondbacks games here, concerts, and other events. We want to figure out how to keep the D-backs playing in Chase Field. County taxpayers paid $238 million for the construction of the ballpark. The Maricopa County Stadium District was created to oversee it. At the end of the day, we are the, the taxpayer representative, if you will, the custodians of the stadium. And we have a fiduciary responsibility in association with that. Recently, there has been a disagreement between the county and Diamondbacks on who is responsible to pay for certain repairs. There's so many decisions that we've made along the way over the last 20 years every one of them properly motivated to maintain that facility. We have had arguments about what the taxpayer needs to pay for. This, this removes that from the taxpayers. The taxpayer doesn't have to worry where the money from a new scoreboard is going to come. They're not going to pay for it. From our view, it's clear cut what the county's uh, or the stadium district's responsibilities are as the landlord, if you will. There's a disagreement on that. That's okay. Disagreements happen all the time. There's been a bit of a, a war of words uh, that, uh, that I think we can work through and work past. While keeping this message clear. No one wants the Diamondbacks to leave. No one does. We want them to continue to play here in the Valley. We want them to continue to play in downtown Phoenix. According to the letter, the potential buyer wants to keep the Arizona Diamondbacks here beyond the original term. They intend to work with the team to improve the stadium and create a sports and entertainment district surrounding Chase Field. August 11th, the Stadium District Board of Directors received the signed letter of intent from Stadium Real Estate Partners 2 LLC in conjunction with the Integral Group of Atlanta. It was presented to us. Um, I, I think it's uh, a good one to, to certainly contemplate and to move forward. But more importantly, I think gone are the days where the taxpayers are going to fund stadiums. The letter sets a minimum price of $60 million pending an appraisal. The county will only accept fair market value, but the deal has to be approved by the Diamondbacks.